<sighs> One marvelous scene. A fantastic series put on by Nanovi Movies and several other YouTubers last year. A moment that I wish I could have been a part of. So now he's doing the same thing with the X-Men series. Okay. Now truth be told, I'm not the biggest X-Men guy. I never got into the characters, never really grew up with them, or the shows, or the movies. I'm a DC guy. But I cannot deny how great some of these scenes are, or movies for that fact. Now my plan was to do Rage and Serenity, or the coin scene, or Magneto's birth, but all those got digging pretty quickly. Please guys go follow them, they're really cool, I love them all. So instead, the plan is to look to one of my favorite Charles Xavier and Eric Lantris scenes of all time, the final scene of X-Men 2, the chess scene. Now this final scene is fantastic for several reasons. The atmosphere being set up throughout the entire movie, the dialogue between Xavier and Magneto, the reflection upon the movie's events, but I really want to see what else I can pull from here. So let's break this scene down in significance within the X-Men universe. We have seen Xavier and Magneto play chess throughout the entire movie franchise, or little lines sprinkled in throughout. I have made the first move. That is all they know. In chess, the pawns go first. Most likely the first one, referring to some of their allies as pawns. So like everything with these two, their entire life is a chess match against one another. Back when the X-Men prequel series came out, can I call it that? I don't know. We also saw the same thing with them playing chess back in their youth, most notably in front of the Lincoln Memorial and the night before their mission to Cuba. And each time we see them play, they reveal the deepest fears, worries, or beliefs. Take for example the Lincoln Memorial segment. Here, Magneto expresses his concerns about working with humans, thinking what happened in the concentration camps of Nazi Germany will happen again, but with his new found family. This fear is going to continue on with every single film he has, constantly feeling put down upon, beaten, battered, exploited by the fears of man. Meanwhile, Charles says it's the first step to peace, the same thing he will constantly go on to state over and over and over again. The same thing is said, essentially, later on, right before their mission to Cuba. While Charles sees how pointless the conflict is, Eric is a man who has seen how reckless humankind can be and knows exactly what is to come from them. So now, we move on to the scene from X2. And once again, we see these two reflect on the movie's events and what will happen next. With humans showing their hatred for mutants now more than ever, especially with the raid on the X Manor, Magneto presses to know what Xavier will do next. And if you really want to go deep with all this, he could also be talking about the game of chess itself, since everything's strategy, I don't know, that's just a little gag. Sure, whatever. But that's not the point. Especially when Charles asks Eric directly, why is he always ask questions he knows the answers to? Beyond that, I'd like to draw your attention to the pieces captured by Xavier. Both bishops, several pawns, and a rook. While Magneto has but a single piece, that being one of Charles's rooks. A reflection on the film itself as X2 left the Brotherhood pretty beaten and battered, and most of Magneto's pawns to the wayside, even being emphasized with Magneto knocking over his king in defeat, which is also something else I want to talk about. Magneto only attacks with strong back row pieces, rooks, knights, and by implication, bishops. Whereas every piece taken by Xavier is a pawn, what does this symbolize exactly? Xavier does not require nor need brute power to achieve his goals. Furthermore, Xavier looks to the pawns, the weakest pieces, and sees their potential. In chess, when one pawn moves from one side of the board to the other, it can either become a rook, a knight, a bishop, or a queen. Much like his students, Charles sees these frail pawns, moves them, pushes them forward until a powerful creature comes out on the other side. Meanwhile, Magneto only uses powerful pieces and is willing to discard them after serving their purposes. Much like the Brotherhood. And lastly, we have the dialogue. The delivery of these lines by Stuart and McKellen just feel bone-chillingly real. Each one was best for their kind, but they each talk with both malice, love, fear. It's incredible. But another thing I love is how Xavier simply calls him old friend. Not Eric, Magneto, or anything else. Because I believe deep down, that is Xavier's greatest wish aside from mutant freedoms. is to have his friendship live again. And that is why the chess scene from X2 is one excellent scene.